Welcome to Business Technicalities. I am joined again with Sean here. How you doing, Sean? I'm doing fantastic, Tom. Um, I think I just, you know, it's uh, it's April and my allergies and my face feels like it's ten pounds. But I'm yeah. doing great. I know we were both we were both like rubbing our faces before this show. Started. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? You know, people uh, gonna think differently of us because we look a little red eyed here. <laughs> you know, people don't understand the amount of work that goes into prepping into getting to this. Just like anything else you talk about in life, anytime you go to talk to a client, you gotta like be on point, right? And that's like, I'm seriously like sitting there smacking my face. I'm gonna start like. Remember Mummy Darius, that movie? She put her face in ice all the time, like oh, in the yeah. morning, because she was like a complete raging alcoholic and her face would be swollen. <laughs> Not done the raging alcoholic part, but same rules apply. Yeah. Same rules. We gotta so, be we gotta be on point. We're on camera here. But let's get to the topic. Exactly. <laughs> so so how are you today, my friend? We are doing great. I am, I think you are, but um there's been some churn in the market. I think there's something we should talk about, and it's that you're more than just the tools that you choose to use. Yes. I, I think there's some people that sometimes may lose a little bit of sight of this. And boy, I know we have certainly uh, found ourselves caught up in the drama of any type of purchase, merger, and acquisition that goes on in our industry. Um, there's all kinds of fun that can be had with it. But getting back to what is important, focusing on what matters, is you're more than your tools that make up this. Because if you are happy about the acquisition or unhappy about the acquisition, you still have to come back to servicing your clients and focusing on that. Even myself, I got caught up just reading scroll, doom scrolling or laugh scroll. I don't know what it is, but I just want to know what the latest news was. And like the first thing you said when we started this conversation was it's going to be a year. And this obviously is directly related to the Datto Kaseya uh, merger acquisition that's going on right now. But it's going to be a while before real changes are made. So you come Absolutely. back to process procedure all the time when it comes to business. It's just a component that is part of your overall. I mean, granted, if you're a user and it is a big component, so any changes in that can be very disruptive to your business, but positive things can come out of it. I'm not going to be completely negative uh, about it, but I want people to come back to thinking about that process procedure part of this. Sure. No, I... Again, it is going to take some time, and we really don't even know what the whole flush that look will be of Kaseya Dado. But regardless of that, you you have to run your business day to day, right? So you can't really change what you're doing. Like I'll even use you as an example. You and I had this very in depth conversation a couple weeks ago that you're not the stereotypical MSP. You're like, hey, we use different things for different things. It's not the the standard and right. when it comes to tools. So really, and I had this conversation with uh, if you're familiar with Arlen Sorensen, um, he runs our Evolve program. Um, he's one of the people that run it. Uh, used to be H -E -T -G, H -T -G, sorry. And so we were talking about this just actually this morning too, before this call. Um, he's like, it's irrelevant. Your life still goes on. Business still goes on. There's still a set of expectation that you build around yourself and to your clients of what you're going to provide. So if you're sitting there worrying about the tool, by the way, none of your clients know that Datto or Kaseya exists typically. Yep. Nobody, they're not Pepsi and Coca-Cola. They're not Under Armour. They're not Nike. There's something that's just a part of your of your makeup that you're providing. They know you as the product, not the products that you work with. Yes. The the products, your business, the people you service, the products they consume is you. Always keep that face on there. And with limited exception, they usually don't even think about the tools. The majority of the I, IT and MSP projects that we do, they're not thinking about the tools we're using on there. Some are curious because I do some co-manage work. So like I said, there's going to be exceptions. But the majority of the time, especially in the broader MSP space, they see you. They want to know that you are going to service the problems related to their technology. And as long as you keep thinking about that, focusing on that and just changing out things kind of as needed and not panicking, you're going to do a better job getting really caught up or changing for the sake of change just because you don't like the acquisition. You know, even with my own, and I know someone's going to call it out and say, Tom, weren't you posting some memes? Of course I was posting <laughs> memes. I can't help it. It's what I do sometimes. But Nonetheless, I've posted memes about the tools and things I have used. doesn't mean I dramatically shift or change. I always focus on what's really important. That's my service delivery, how we present things to the clients, so we're keeping things safe, secure, and functioning for them. And it's just putting that back into perspective is really where people's heads need to be and take careful analysis when you look at how you integrate all these tools together. Absolutely. So, okay, so, you know, since you are the entrepreneur of, the, of this conversation, the M any MSP, which is very relatable to our audience. You said this about service delivery and products and whatnot. When you went through your selection process of products you were going to use to support your business, 
How did you do it? What's the first question you ask yourself? Oh, it's just a careful analysis of does a tool fit my needs? There's a, a big piece of it. Can I understand the tool? Will there be a mutiny if I try to get my staff using this tool? That was, some of them they didn't like. We're just going to throw it out there to look at the menu system and go, that isn't usable to us. So there's a real careful balance to, to really vet these, looking at the posture of the company, thinking a lot about security uh, that has been brought up many, many times in our industry because attacking the tools is where in the supply chain, where they threat actors are really going now. So there's just a lot more factors involved than just picking a tool that works. It's picking a tool that works, that's secure, uh, that's scalable to where you want to be, not where you are. It has to obviously fit your immediate needs of wherever you're at as a business, but how plan how big do you plan on getting? Is that scalability feature there? Is that other feature sets you may want to provide, other service you want to provide there? So that, that analysis um, still may land you on the same product you have. And without a lot of changes, being known that are going to happen, it may be worth it just to stay with where you're at. And, you know, it's it's just this careful evaluation, or if your plan is to start switching, see how it's going to integrate into your process. Process, 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 focus on delivery to your customers. I couldn't agree more. So, you know, actually, this is a conversation uh, I had with a good friend of mine that actually works with MSPs. I won't mention his name now, but at one point he'll be, he'll be on our show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You said process, process, process. I always worked on people, process, technology in that order, right? Because as, as the entrepreneur, I come into existing established businesses. So I have to look at what do you have on hand? You're not necessarily willing to revamp your entire company because I think you should. It's more about using the resources at hand, right? First. So the reason why it's so important, people, process, technology in my world is because I need to see who's in the right places or aces in their places for one. Do they do it just too? And then the process. What's the process that supports their immediate job that they're doing? And then the technology. This is and this is related to Kaseya, Datto, ConnectWise. Take your pick. Um, it has to support those two things. It's not there to be the end all be all. It's there to simplify and and to automate and to make it scalable. Right. That's what the technology is for at the end of the day. Which we were talking about. Our we were talking about my desk actually before you got on this. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I said. <laughs> I have a desk that's mechanical that I can stand up, sit down, everything else, right? And I have three modes based off of, there's three different preset heights to my desk. And it's based off the mode that I'm in and what I'm doing. I mean, it seems so simple and ridiculous and rudimentary, right? But the fact is, when I'm on a call, every mostly almost every call you ever see me on, I'm standing up. That's me because I'm getting my blood flow and I'm keeping myself involved. I stand most of the day anyway. But if I'm in like chill mode where I'm smoking a cigar and I'm typing some stuff, it's at the most bottom level, which is level three. That's my chill mode. Smoke a cigar, type up some documents, you know, some whatever I'm doing. Two is when I'm actually on work mode, no cigar, but talking to people internally. Number one is here we are. You know, again, it's a technology that supports my efforts. Yes. And you always have to think about it that way. I mean, if you are going to change, that's fine. Customers will probably, once again, as he said, not notice. Do your careful analysis. Don't do a knee jerk reaction because that's more likely to hurt your service delivery. Um, but think about it, think concisely about it. And if you have to make the move, you know, spend time doing that transition. We did our own transition a year ago, and I've done some videos talking about that on my main channel, switching from the Enable platform to the Ninja One platform, whatever. I'm not here to endorse or tell you not to or to use any particular product. Really use the product that fits your needs. That's the most important part of it. And don't let it don't let the drama of all this going on, you know, or or some meme by Tom affect your service delivery. Please, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's all fun to laugh. That's that's the important thing to me is that at least we can have a joke about it, have a drink about it, and share some uh, share some snarkiness. But uh, in the end of the day, still focus on what you do, and that is you know servicing your customers. I love that you put a disclaimer out. That's really smart of you. <laughs> it's, but it's true. It is so true. First off, memes are fantastic, right? They Regardless, are. you know, and and if you've worked in the space long enough and you've been part of enough companies or larger companies, you've been the you've been the brunt of them at some point too. So you have to learn how to take it on the chin, so to speak. Um, because I mean, we can that's for a further conversation, yeah. marketing efforts surrounding this and competitors, we can talk about that, but you have to learn how to take it on the chin as an as the company that's receiving this. Um, and you have to make sure you can do what's right by the partner base and the customer base. At the end of the day, just like you have, you, you keep talking about the MSP and service delivery, right? The vendor has a service delivery and a responsibility and a requirement also to maintain for their partners and clients. At the end, you have to both figure out where you guys belong. 
and you have to still do the same job regardless. Nothing changes. The day just keeps rolling. Business still keeps happening. And there's expectations from clients at the end of the day that you cannot take away from. Absolutely. So hopefully this helps someone calm down, think about it. That's always what we're trying to do. And for those of you getting into the space, I know we, I have a lot of people from the comments. We've already seen some of you are really early on in the business cycle, which is awesome. Welcome. Yes. And uh, start thinking about this now and you can be ahead of people because sometimes we see mature businesses not paying attention to this and making knee jerk reactions. And this is why sometimes companies fail. And our, our goal is always drop some knowledge here to hopefully keep you out of trouble. Absolutely. So, I would think a big part for anybody looking to make a move or or considering to make the move, you said something before about scalable. They should be looking at how, what product they're going to run with that can they can scale around. You know, we're all looking for the end all be all product that can help us with as many things as possible. We know there's no end all be all. There's not one size fits all for everything you do in your business or life. So at least find something that's going to help you support as high a percentage of things you're trying to accomplish as possible in the most easiest way possible, right? So yeah. if you're going to make that move, you should have a checklist on what you what you really do in your business and start breaking down what you have between people, process, technology that support each one of these responsibilities. Then make your decision if you're going to, because nobody saying things that nobody said anything about that is going to change. There's no there's right. speculation right away, of course, just like everything else. But there's no way of telling what's going to happen yet in the next year. It could be the opposite where Kaseya adopts the procedures and policies of Datto. There's simply no way of telling. Yeah. So overall though don't get into analysis paralysis stop be calm you know it, it sounds cliche but these are really things as much as i joke around the reality is i'm slow to change slow to move things that i think will disrupt my business i have the responsibility to my clients i have a lot of staff that well they like collecting those checks and uh if i were to make some large mistakes they would not be able to you don't want to you don't want to be there you, i uh i have a responsibility i feel for all these people that are uh, relying on me externally and internally to uh keep things moving so uh, always be careful just some thoughts we want to throw out here on here um all right. Anything more to this? I think we got it. I think we covered a lot that I, I think it's a powder keg you know, waiting to go off. I think um, I, I hope that our listeners, viewers still contribute to the comments yes. in a positive manner, please. We're not here to bash anybody at all. Right. So, I mean, everybody here in this community is looking for help to help to, to figure out what's best for next steps for their business and their life. So let's try to keep this where people provide some actual informative stuff that they know something that's going on. That's legitimate, not a meme, because a meme is not necessarily the real deal. Um, it's fun, but yeah. let's. I hope people feel free to ask questions. We will find that information we can as we can as it comes up. Yep. But also give us some stuff to work with too that it's going to help other MSPs in this community because that's what this is all about ultimately. Absolutely, just dropping some knowledge, offering some help. Thanks everyone for listening. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs>